Please welcome Nathan Schulhoff, CEO and President of Audio Highway. The father of the MP3 player. A life-changing innovation. Nathan Schulhoff, CEO at AudioHighway.com. This is very exciting. We, this is actually Woodstock of the Internet. Featured in the Wall Street Journal, Forbes, Business Week, and many other publications. We were the very first company to download audio on the Internet. It's called Audio Highway, and Nathan Schulhoff is going to tell us about it. How's this thing working? Well, Audio Highway uh, allows you to download audio. Take this high-quality audio with you into the car while you're jogging. We like to think of ourselves as that we're the first company to actually cut the wires from the computer and take what the Internet offers on the road. The Listen Up Player is a handheld device, a Walkman of the Internet. And in a few short minutes, you have an hour's worth of audio for I playback. Know. Schulhoff says he's driven by a passion to make lives better. When I see kids with earphones on, it, it, it makes me feel so good. And everywhere you go, you see it. I like to think outside the box. When, you got to realize, when I did the MP3 player, everybody was against it, except, except a few of these angels, these visionaries. His current focus is dedicated on finding a more productive use for alternative energy. And this is his latest passion or project, a portable solar charger. Make this something that somebody could use every day. In some countries, the Juice Orange solar charger may be the only way many people can charge low wattage devices. You have passion for no matter what your job is or what you bring to the table. Passion is a very important part. Concentrated on helping people live better lives in more comfortable ways. The idea of climbing that mountain that no one else has, making a change, no matter how small it may be, in our everyday work, is monumental. Extensively quoted and featured in both technology as well as consumer media, including pieces in the Wall Street Journal, Forbes, and Business Week. Most of us have used his invention daily. At this point, we're up to about 30 employees. Everybody was proud to work there. And we also say, we see each other in the hall. We're number one. We're the number one company in the valley, and we're going to make a difference. And all through the years, every time my employees would see me, they'd all hold up their finger and go, number one. When we pass in the hallway, we'd go, number one. Number one. We were excited about what we were doing. Three years later, we were still doing this, but I noticed when my employees came to me, they changed fingers on me. 35 years of successful serial entrepreneurial ventures. I built with my team originally in the early 80s one of the best-selling word processors for the Apple computer called Word Handler. I also developed the first CD and the concept of bundling CDs and magazines for mass distribution uh, in the early 90s. Don't hate me for that. It wasn't me that sent you all those AOL CDs. I had nothing to do with those America Online distributions. The father of the MP3 player says he's not a technical whiz, he's a visionary. I saw the vision of many, many portable devices coming out over the years, but at this time, none were out there. So we built what's called the Listen Up Player, which is now in a division of the Smithsonian Institute. Technology will continue to evolve. It will become faster, it will become more powerful. Where we're going from here is wireless satellite technology, which is going to change your whole world. Live to be beyond 100 years old. I know of at least in two countries right now where they've grown a liver. The TV of the future is you're going to be watching John Wayne or Star Trek on a 3D hologram in your living room where you feel you are on the Star Trek. We have to always be willing to change and thinking of how we're going to solve, solve tomorrow's problems. What tools are we going to use to solve tomorrow's problems? Mr. Nathan Shulok.